Well, hi guys. Here's another episode of, oh, can't shut this, Summerfield Farm and Draft Horses. And, uh, okay, what do we got doing, going on today? Well, um, I sold the Audi, and that was a really good thing. And um, because we've got that guy now. So, um, funny thing is, and, oh, there it is. Uh, the funny thing is, is people are put in your life for a reason. Um, the ones that you meet at the grocery store, maybe the ones that um, are the moms to the guy that you sold the Audi to. <laughs> I'm going to put you guys here for a second. Um, but everything happens for a reason and you meet everybody for a reason. Either you need to be polite to them. They needed to hear you say, hi, have, hope you have a great day, you know, in a cheerful voice. Or maybe you needed that kind of have a blessed day or have a nice day in a cheerful voice, you know, if you're kind of down and out. So today, putting on my, my worky boots, my dirty boots. <laughs> These are my awesome cowboy boots. These are Laredo's and these things are so old. They're like five years old. Well, so I guess they're really not that old, but I've worn them to like everything. <laughs> they're not waterproof anymore. So these are my, my dirty boots. I call my dirty boots because I bought the same thing um, for my dress boots. So anyway, back on track. Um, I met this wonderful woman and she was the mom to the guy that we sold the Audi to and they have cows. So... I was kind of just like, haha, you know, you want my cows because I'm really sick and tired of them and I can't find anybody to slaughter them. And she kind of was tempted to say yes. So we went out and take a look at them and they, they're so pot-bellied. And I, I did warm them, but um, I used this stuff, the safeguard warmer. And it's a pellet that you put in with their food. And it tells you to feed them. I mean, you could put give this to horses and pigs and turkeys and cows. Um, but they tell you for cows. Where's the cows? Cattle. Um, to feed. Where is it? Maybe it's on the back. Oh, yeah. Um, add... Let's see, feed at a rate of one pound per thousand pounds of body weight. And these guys aren't a thousand pounds yet because they're still babies. Um, and supply 2.27 milligrams of this stuff per pound of body weight. And I can't weigh them. I have, I have a tape that you're supposed to wrap around them. But I don't know if you all know anything about cows, but you try to put something around their middle and they like freak out and they take off and it's just me. So <laughs> here I am trying to weigh them last time when I was cleaning out their pen and I have the tape and I've draped it over and they're starting to freak out because this is like, oh my God, I'm being attacked, you know? So I tried my best and I, I don't know how much they weigh. They're about this big. <laughs> so I kind of guessed the first time and it looked like it was okay, but... I don't, I don't want to overdo it because I know on, there's some, uh, wormers with horses that you have to double up on and other ones you have to get it just right. Otherwise you'll make them very sick. So apparently this was not the right choice to figure out how to worm my cows, but she told me the coolest one. So, um, so she told me to buy this block. It's a 25 pound block of that and it's got molasses and they'll lick it and they'll just eat as much as they need to so there's no worry about over medicating or anything so I bought that and I was really embarrassed because they pooped a lot in their pen since I've cleaned it so I was really embarrassed the way it looked and um, I went out and bought more straw because we were gonna put some straw in the, the stalls so I bought more straw for them and I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna rake it up so, um, why don't you guys take a pop a squat and come with me and you can help me rake up cow poo. Here 
is my trusty steed for the afternoon. <laughs> um, husband always has this on a trickle charger. And let's see. Let's take this off. Um, I think that's okay. You know what? Let's do this. Oh, I won't feel so bad that if I zap myself, because I won't. And I think we'll put this right here. Alrighty. Like his little hook thing? I think it's so cute. It holds it. Holds the seat up. <laughs> He's ingenious sometimes. Alright, let's go. Right, Snow? Right, Pup Pup? What are you doing? He's a good girl. Here, let's get this hooked up. This is the stuff that she told me to get. Was this stuff? So um, it's 25 pounds. Oh, there we go. And it looks like that. So I'm gathering. I just leave it like that, and they get in there and they lick it all up. I don't know. I don't know. That's what she said to use. So that's what I'm gonna use. <laughs> all right. Let's get some of that in here to bring out. See, hear them? You can hear them crying. Crazy cows.
husband is home. I gotta move some stuff. Apparently I had him in stitches just then. <laughs> it was so cute. I was sitting there and I'm, I'm thinking as I'm driving down, I'm like, oh, this is so cute, my little tractor. Apparently he thought the same thing, my little tractor. Okay, so my little tractor right there. <laughs> All right, let's bring this out to the cows, shall we? As you can see it's really messy um i think i put a video i don't remember if i put a video up or not mm. hi magoo i don't know if i put a video up of when the last time i did it but chuckles you're peeing oh my gosh they just stand there and pee um so i don't know the last time that i i did this i probably did it two months ago maybe um but i like to clean, try to clean it out as often as possible but, okay, let's get started. Hi guys. Hi cow cows. Hello baby cows. What you doing? I got something for you. Yeah, I do. I got something special for you. Hi. Hi Chuckles. I know that's your poop. Look at your horns. Your horns are really getting big. I know. You're such a good boy. I know I love you too. Don't step on my feet. You're getting big. Hi, hi, Magoo. Hi, handsome. And your horns are just starting to come out. Look at that. Look at you, buddy. You're getting to be a big boy. I know. How are you doing? Such a good boy. What do you think, huh, Magoo? <laughs> He's getting really big. He's up by my belt here on my waist now. He's getting big. Right? Aren't you getting big? Of course you're getting big. Of course you guys are getting big. Look at how big you guys are getting. Such big cow cows. Such big cow cows. Oh, you're looking so good. Oh, <laughs> I know. Hi. Hi, Magoo. Hi, sweetheart. I know. You're just a big boy, too. I know. You only want to come over for some lovin's when you think I got something for you, huh? Yeah such a good boy. What do you think, huh? Huh? What do you think? Alright, let's get to work.
we get all these piles. Yes, and your piles too. And I'm gonna use the shovel just to kind of pick them all up and chuck them over the back of the fence. So, let's get to that. All right, guys, what do you say? Yeah? Okay, good idea. But no, seriously, <laughs> um, it w actually wasn't as bad as it usually is, so, uh, or as it was the last time. So, thank you, husband, for bringing out uh, the food and the, the food. So now their pen's all nice and clean. There's their salt block, and they have plenty of water. Plenty of water, all nice and clean. And they've got their grain <laughs> and they've got their pile of taff so they're going to be happy with that and then they've got nice big thick bedding all nice and clean <laughs> and their little uh their little molasses block so i figure i'll put it there should be okay oh nice big old spider right there yikes i might have to move it on the inside i think i'm going to move it on the inside I'll move it over here. That way, in case it rains, it doesn't get rained on. And they can still lick it, I guess. But nice and thick. They got a great bedding. Everything's over here is all nice and clean. So, that concludes. <laughs> Thank you for sticking around while I cl cleaned up poop. And while he helped bring some stuff over. Thank you. <laughs> And uh, we're gonna call it a night. I'm gonna make some supper. And the boys are eating. Can't see them. Where are they? There they are. All right. Well, I'm gonna get all this straw out of my shirt and I'm just total disaster. Wearing the wrong clothes again while I'm doing farm work. But now you know why these are called my dirty boots. 
<laughs> so anyway guys thank you for watching thank you for still sticking around i appreciate you subscribing to my channel and watching all the crazy videos that i do um stay tuned for all sorts of fun stuff to come on and i think i'm gonna put some pictures of the cows on some t-shirts so watch out for those too on teespring um, I'll put a link on our webpage on um, 15 Hands Tack, and uh, we'll go from there. So have a great day and a moolah day <laughs> on summer field farms and draft horses. Bye, guys.